Jay, just awesome. You, you're, you're unbelievable. unbelievable. L, we love you. I, incredible. E. e. Julie just has that, just has that innate ability to connect with people, to talk with them. She just loves what she does, and you can see that. You can see that every day. We love you, Julie! <laughs> Woo! Woo! I think my mom's drive just comes from the fact that she really loves what she does, that she truly finds joy and truly wants what's best for these kids. Julie's just got a presence about her and people yeah. feel like they can open up to her and she is just kind and will listen and, and just make you feel that, yes, you've got this going on, but there's so much more that you can do as well. And she just has that ability to put people's mind at ease. And I think people can sense that Julie comes in and she's just, hi, I'm Julie. And you, you just have like, okay, we're good. <laughs> All your anxiety yeah. goes away when she walks in. I still say like, I'm just doing my job. I don't know why I would be singled out. My favorite quality is her loving spirit. It, it just, it, it never stops. She's always wanting to, to give, but she's thankful that she's able to do something for them. She has taught me so much in these last 25 years. I cannot thank God enough for her. I mean, because she has because she has helped me to grow. Her purpose in life is to make someone's life a little bit better. Her being a nurse has really inspired me to become a nurse, and it's really shown me the amount of dedication and care and passion I can have for this field. First of all, I can't believe that my daughter's going to be a nurse in May. <laughs> I'm, I'm barely getting used to the idea that she's just graduating college, but that she's going to be a nurse is just so exciting. I will have my mom pin me right after awards weekend. I'm so excited and I'm so honored that she'll be able to do it. It's a pretty big deal. So, <laughs> Sunday morning at nine o'clock, I will be giving her her nurse's pin. So I'm really proud of her. It's just incredible to see Julie inspiring the next set of nurses because she I mean, what better person to do it? <laughs> and Hannah's just like her mom. She's just like Julie. Julie inspires me to listen to people, to connect with them on a more personal level. To care so much about someone else, about their needs and their overall well-being, to put that above your own, to be able to sacrifice that for another person is that, I mean, that's really incredible. That's what I love. I, I, I love that I get to see the same kids week after week after week. It's holistic. Communication is not always the words that come out of your mouth. Sometimes it's the words that are going into your ears that mean the most. That you take those words and you listen to them and, and you listen to what that person is truly saying to you. That's what means the most, that you're there for them. Um, my name's Trey Stevens. I'm 16. I know Julie from when I wasn't allowed to be home by myself. I had to have nursing. I had neuroblastoma cancer, and I was in seventh grade, 13. <laughs> I wasn't sure why I had to have the nurses at home with me. Even though Trey needed to have the nurses there, he was not thrilled by any stretch of the imagination. Some days, he'd want to stay in his room, do his video games, I just keep checking him, you okay, Trey, you awake, Trey, you need to eat, Trey, you need to drink, Trey, you know, and that was okay. Space, they wanted leave me alone. <laughs> they just didn't trust me to do anything, so I like actually having freedom. <laughs> but he didn't really feel like that when he had her. Trey always looked forward to the days that he had Miss Julia as a nurse. I don't know how she was just like so welcoming, it's just magical powers. 
She was my favorite nurse. She did a lot of extra stuff that other nurses like didn't do. We just kind of just talk about things sometimes. He opened up his heart to me and I took away all my inhibitions. Like I just wanted to help him and be with him and encourage him. It was nice that he had someone to look forward to seeing and you know, something to brighten his week. The difference that I got with Miss Julie than the other nurses was she didn't just care about Trey, who was her patient. She cared about us as a family. That's why I do it, because it's all of their life. Because all of their life is affecting why I'm with them. There's a lot of heroes here. It's not just me. Number one is Trey, because he's such a cool kid, and he just went through so much. And not only that, but he beat it. <laughs> he's cancer-free. Julie, I just want you to know, you really helped us through a difficult time, and I love you and I wish you the best. Julie, thanks for going the extra mile to make my day better.